Hello everyone, welcome to another video. This video is a bit different to some of my other ones. I'm actually studying an MA in illustration at the moment, so I have been working on some drawings and thought it would be cool to share some of my ideas here on my YouTube channel. The focus of the course is really on how to communicate your ideas to an audience using a visual language. A good illustration should really be able to be read by anyone. It should be clear and it should be telling us something that isn't spoken or written in words. This particular piece is something I have made to kick off a project which I have designed to be all about perspectives. I love drawing perspective landscapes, usually from photos I have taken on my travels. I wanted to delve a bit deeper with this piece and create a visual perspective in terms of the landscape appearing to vanish into the distance, but also a conceptual perspective, sort of like a new way of looking at something. I lived in China for five years. When you live in China, your access to news, social media and search engines are limited. And it can be hard to research certain topics you might want to learn more about. After I left China earlier last year, I began to read and learn a lot about the Uyghurs, a Muslim population who live predominantly in the northwest of China, in Xinjiang. There is a lot of information available to read about the background of what is happening in Xinjiang, but the gist of it is that China are detaining and re-educating the whole of the Muslim population there. There are more than 3 million locked away in thousands of camps in and around the region. This is the first piece I have made around this topic. I took the image of the Uyghurs from a propaganda campaign China released showing these schools in which the Uyghurs are in. They show Uyghurs sitting at rows of desks in classroom environments, all wearing these blue uniforms and reading from textbooks. Due to the high security China has maintained around these camps and the lack of public knowledge, these carefully selected images are all we have to go on in terms of what the inside of a re-education centre might look like. This illustration depicts both the traditional and modern day Chinese buildings lining the street. I have inserted the Uyghurs at their classroom desks, filling the street and fading into the distance to signify just how many millions of innocent people are being imprisoned. I wanted the piece to show on the first hand a typical street scene, but when seen for longer, more detail and information is discovered. My aim was to create a feeling of, oh, what's going on here? And thus raising some questions and inquiry. This is really just my first attempt at juxtaposing elements into a street scene. I think it's worked quite well, it has a feeling of query to it, which is what I wanted. To develop the idea further, I'm going to experiment with juxtaposition of doors for the behind closed doors analogy and prison bars for a more obvious message. I hope you'll join my next video to see how it progresses. For now, this is the first step and the project is underway. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.